Hello there, YouTube. Um, <clears throat> sorry, something in my throat. Um, I'm gonna be doing a deck tech uh, for a white red aggro life gain deck. Um, so I will get um, okay. First two cards, two signal pests. These are basically just to annoy and boost some of your creatures. That's about it. Two arc trails to deal damage to a target creature or player, but you're most likely going to use them uh, for a player. One mighty leap to buff up one of your bigger creatures, as you'll see in a minute. I burn the impure basically to deal damage to a target creature, and if it has infect, it'll actually deal three damage to the person. One brimstone volley, basically to deal damage again to a creature or a player. This is why it's an aggro. A desperate ravings, basically so you can get some cards. Goblin tunneler, just so you can uh, uh, use his little ability where you tap him and something with an attack of two or less cannot block so it's good to use when you have the big creatures got two barrage ogres they're a kind of intermediate attack but you can use them basically to get damage on your creatures because there's a lot of artifacts in this deck a ruthless invasion again uh, with the uh, can't block thing Two wooden stakes to take care of vampires that will, you know, be in some decks, you never know. A quenchable fire, you, again, to deal damage. Two forced warships to basically get creatures that won't be able to attack. One lava axe just deals an amazing amount of damage and oh wait I accidentally grabbed there we go four war reports basically for how many creatures this is this is basically what this deck revolves around right here the war reports they give you health for every creature that's on the battlefield yours and the enemies so that's a big amount of HP going your way a lot. One lapse of certainty to counter a target's spell. <clears throat> and here's the big guys two flameborn Helions. These guys have haste, and along with the uh, mighty leap, it'll give them flying and plus two plus two for the until end of turn, so it's very, very annoying. Very. One Inquisitor Exarch, just to uh, make your opponent lose life or you gain life. Celestial Purge if you're facing a black or red deck or something that has black or red in it. A Siege the Initiative to buff up creatures again and get them first strike. That way they won't die. An exclusion ritual to ex exile uh, an annoying card that you might encounter throughout tournaments and whatnot and local things. And two secure priests. These are also another important role. Basically, for whenever they put a creature out, they lose one life. But whenever you put one out for your side, you gain one life. And since you have two, they get rid of one. You still have another one. Two Peace Striders, they basically give you three life whenever they enter the battlefield, and that's pretty much it. And they, they are 3-3, three, three, so you can use them if you want. Three Gold Mirror to get uh, mana for your mana pool. 
and I'm not sure if you noticed, but I have different multiple colored sleeves on. I'm sorry about that, but that's the only sleeves I have uh, available to put on my cards, so that's what I go by. Okay, I have two polarity mirrors to add two colorless mana to your mana pool, you know. Yeah, they're just kind of there. Two blinding soul eaters. These are good uh, for tapping creatures, that way they can't attack for whenever you bring out your big uh, characters and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, one lightning bolt. I don't have to explain that one, that one's pretty simple. And one lip, lip, whip flare. This basically just deals damage to a non artifact creature. And then we have, let's see, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me get this a little bit more tight. Nine mountains. Eight plains. And one Phyrexia's core. Basically, this is the deck tech. And I know this does not look pretty when I display it, but. This is a first time thing, so. Well, the aggro deck is pretty much good if you uh, have to deal with flying, because you can just deal damage through spells and targets' abilities. Then you have the life gain factor, that way, if they start aggroing and whatnot. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, leave uh, card ideas in the description if you want to, and subscribe or something like that. See you.